Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can calculate the occupancy percentage that can generate an identical net room revenue if you change the ADR. So first, we have to define contribution margin, which is the amount of sales revenue left over to contribute to covering fixed cost and profit. So contribution margin is equal to room rate minus variable cost. And variable cost, it's the cost incurred in order to make a room ready for sale. One way to apply the contribution margin is by analyzing scenarios with changing price points and occupancy levels. The objective of this calculation is to identify the occupancy percentage that will generate identical net room revenue at changing ADR. So here we're having uh, two scenarios. We start with scenario one, where ADR is equal $140 and the occupancy percentage is 70%. The variable cost, it means the cost in order to make the room ready to be sold, it's $20. So we start by calculating the contribution margin, which is the ADR minus the variable cost. So we're having $120 that will cover the fixed cost and the profit. And we're having scenario two, where we want to decrease the ADR. However, we want to know the equivalent occupancy that can generate an identical net revenue as in scenario one. So first we start by identifying the variable cost since it's in the same operation. So we will still have the same variable cost, which is $20. And also we have to calculate the new contribution margin. So which is $130, the new ADR minus the variable cost. So here the contribution margin, it decreased from $120 to $110. And now we have to calculate the occupancy percentage that will generate the same revenue. So as you can see here, the required new occupancy percentage equal to current contribution margin. It means the initial one. So it's 120 divided by the new contribution margin, which is 110. And then it's multiplied by the current occupancy percentage or the initial occupancy percentage. So it's times 70%. So here, as you can see, the new occupancy or the required occupancy, it's 76%. It means I need 76% occupancy at an ADR of $130 to generate the same net revenue as in scenario one. This calculation is very beneficial for revenue managers whenever they are studying different scenarios and whenever they want to change the ADR. So like this, they can know the new occupancy required. And like this, they can also preserve their net revenue. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for future videos.